The sound was deafening. Police using an irritating high-pitched sound to drive protesters away. Monday night, the protest continued in Ferguson, Missouri, where an unarmed black 18-year-old was shot dead by a white police officer. Police were ready for anything. They told protesters they couldn't stand in one place, but had to keep moving. Once again, police used tear gas to clear protesters and journalists from the streets and sidewalks. People with saline solution and Maalox poured the solutions in people's eyes to relieve the symptoms. <laughs> Authorities cleared the streets after midnight and asked reporters to leave as well due to reports of gunfire. You're unlawfully assembled. You will be subject to arrest. Captain Ron Johnson of the Missouri Highway Patrol says at least two people were shot and that gunfire was a threat to many more. I stood there and listened over the radio and heard the screams of those officers who were under gunfire. I went back to our SWAT vehicle and saw the gentleman laying in the back who had been shot. Captain Johnson encouraged demonstrators to hold their protest in the daytime so that the small minority of people bent on causing chaos wouldn't be able to use the protest for cover. And I am not going to let the criminals that have come out here from across this country or live in this community define this neighborhood. Johnson also defended the police use of large armored vehicles, saying it allowed them to enter dangerous areas to get shooting victims. Sandy Kozell, The Associated Press.